Hey guys, uh, I'm back with a little bit of review. It's the Calmore, so you can see it. It's the license plate backup camera uh, wireless for your cell phone. I've uh, been wanting to get one for my tow vehicle for our trailer for quite a while, so I don't have to rely on my wife to back me in on the hitch and things so much. Uh, I picked this one up. It's about 100 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link down so you can see it. Uh, I'm guessing I haven't installed it yet, but it looks pretty easy. It just looks like a positive wire, negative wire, four screws to get the uh, license plate in, download an app, turn the Wi-Fi on, boom, you're good to go. That's what it sounds like. So I'm going to do an install, and I'll show you the install while I do it so you can see exactly how easy it is to do this, and then we'll test it out, make sure everything works great, and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. But uh, let's get in the box so you can see what's inside. So right here, vanity card tells me their price is $129.99. I think I paid $99.99 for it. And then a pretty simple how-to. There's one side. There's the other. So it seems pretty simple. And then the camera itself, it's obviously right there. Your wiring, like I said, it's a positive and a negative. That's it. Pause, neg. Camera adjust. I'm guessing that there's going to be something on here that I can get it so it'll stay stationary. Mounting screws. There it is. That's what's going to keep it stationary right there, your Allen wrench and whatnot. So, we're going to go in the garage, get in the back of the Ranger, and uh, install this bad boy and see exactly how easy it is. So this is pretty much the reason why I want to put the backup camera on so I can connect my travel trailer to that hitch. So, get her connected right now. First, we're going to take off the screws off the license plate so we can install the license plate frame. So this is something I was kind of hoping wasn't going to happen. Top screw is the current screw in the license plate and the bottom one is the one that came with the camera. So one's obviously much more coarse than the other and longer than the other. So I'm going to see if I can get the new one to work. If not, I may have to uh, get the old one working and get it in there somehow. So now that I have it almost completely tightened down, I'm going to run this wire through that hole to get it underneath so we can wire it to the backup. Just in case you're wondering, 10 millimeter 3 8 socket is uh, what you need to tighten those bolts down. All right, underneath my truck, here's where we may run into a little bit of a problem. I need to unsheathe these wires here because this is the positive and negative that I need to run from the camera on this is the, this is the backup light on the passenger side. So I need to unsheathe these to give me a little bit of wire so that I can splice them in and uh, then we should be okay and then I can plug it back in and then we can see if it works. I'm going to take some electrical tape and completely secure this connection right here. Uh, right there. So that uh, it doesn't come apart underneath here because then it'll be kind of a pain to get squared away. So I got my positive and my negative spliced together. Now it's time to plug that back in. Got it plugged back in. Now let's test it out. Alright, so now we're in the car. Let's test this out. So you got to go to Wi Fi. Turn my Wi Fi on. Look for my connections. Wi Fi is on. If I put it in reverse, it's looking. So that SWD is the backup camera. It says internet may not be available, but let's just see. So we'll go to our apps. Right here is the SWD camera. And there it is. There's my, tri there's my hitch right there. Perfectly lined up. We're good to go. So I can take it over here, I can add the lines or I can take them away. Here I can take pictures, here I can mirror what's going on. And that's your settings if need be. But this is pretty easy, showing 23 frames per second. And to me this is good enough for whatever I need. I'm going to be backing up a trailer 99% of the time with this, so I think we're good to go. 
I just need to teach my cell phone to connect to this all the time. So, all in all, looks good. All right, so one last thing. Let's see how well it looks backing up. Putting it in reverse. Took a little second to get going. Here we go. Pretty much perfect. There you go. The Commore backup camera, license plate frame, easy install, two wires, Wi-Fi, wide angle, full color backup camera. All right, so that was the install of the Commore license plate wireless backup camera with night vision, IP69K waterproof, 170 degree, Wide viewing angle, Wi-Fi reverse, view camera for cars, RVs, pickups, simple installation. So that's the Amazon link for it. That's where I got it. I actually did pay $129.99 or $119.99 for it. Um, I mean, install probably 30 minutes, maybe. If you, you know, were a mechanic and knew what you were doing, it'd probably take you a whole lot less time. Um, but also underneath my truck, I have the trailer hitch and seven pin and everything else for my trailer so it was a little crammed under there um, but we made it work and the thing works like a champ so when I go out uh, camping next when we go and hook up the trailer throw on the backup camera on the license plate and then uh, we'll see if I even need my wife to give me one of these it'll just I could just back right into it she can just sit in the car stay warm hang out with the dog whatever but uh, anyway that was the uh, Calmore License plate backup camera, and uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Work like a champ. See you later. Almost forgot. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the episode. Also, make sure you thumbs up this video because why not, right? It's good. Also, hit the bell so you can keep up with all the stuff we do here at our getaway plan. I'm Garrett. Hopefully, again, we'll see my wife Angela. Mm, fingers crossed. All right. See you guys later.